closure is essential in the healing process after losing a loved one. But now some families are having to wait for that because of delays within the medical examiner's office of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Ashlyn Webb took a closer look at why in tonight's 13 Investigates. Last August, Tawana Hogan lost her husband of 10 years, William. She says one Sunday morning, he woke up with some stomach pain, so he decided not to go to church. But when she got back, she says his condition was much worse. We didn't even make it to the hospital, so uh, paramedics had to come to the house. We were on our way to, to the ER, but we didn't make it. So, um, so even the doctor was uh, dumbfounded about the fact that, you know, he was, you know, 43, uh, seemingly healthy, and he didn't understand it. Hogan says she asked the Georgia Bureau of Investigation for an autopsy. She wanted to know if hereditary factors or underlying health problems could have killed her husband. But she also wanted closure for herself, their nine-year-old daughter, and the rest of his family. I was told that it would probably take about it would take some time, but I was thinking three months or something like that, maybe four months. Bibb County Coroner Leon Jones says it typically takes around three months for the GBI to give a cause of death. But now Hogan has been waiting for nearly six months. Every day I'm going to the mailbox because I want to see if the results are in the mail. So we ask, why is it taking longer for families to learn the cause of death? In a statement, Nellie Miles with the GBI says that's partly due to the overall increase in deaths in Georgia. The statement also says some autopsies have been delayed because of the Bureau's problem with hiring medical examiners. Jones says dozens of families, just like Hogan's, are still waiting for answers. You know, our hands are tied. I mean, you know, you, you, the family are calling and want to know, having the results of my baby, you having the results of my husband, you having the results of my daughter. And we, we have to tell them that, no ma'am, we don't have the results yet because the Georgia Bureau of Investigation have not gave us the cause of death. And, and that's all we can do. Jones says the backlog can also cause legal delays for grieving families. The death certificate is a legal document. It cannot be signed till we get the cause of death. Okay, Families cannot take care of their business because they don't have a death certificate. Including filing a life insurance claim or settling the deceased estate. For now, Hogan is still waiting and checking her mailbox. No mail. It's not a day that doesn't go by that I'm not trying to come up with my own conclusion. You know, I go back over the scenario of the process of how it happened, you know, how he got progressively worse. But she also says she doesn't just want an answer. She wants the truth. First of all, I want the, the report to be very thorough. I don't want a rush job. I don't want any stones unturned. So if that means I, I have to wait, then I just have to wait. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation also added in their statement that they are having discussions with the governor's office and Georgia legislators about the GBI's budget so they can carry out the agency's critical function for the state. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WAZ News. Senator David Lucas and Representative Robert Dickey both say they have pushed for more money in the budget for the GBI Medical Examiner's Office to hire more medical examiners, specifically for the Macon office. That office closed in October, but partially opened for some autopsies three days a week in mid-January. Coroner Leon Jones says still all autopsies for possible homicide victims must be done in DeKalb County. You can hear more from the coroner and the state politicians on addressing the GBI delays on our website, 13wmaz.com.